Yo, what's up guys? I'm here. Hey, what's happening? I'm Adrian Boysell. Welcome back to Adrian Graphics and Marketing, or if this is your first time, thanks for joining me. I have something that I feel is really important that I wanna share with you about you running your graphic design, web design, or motion design business that most other people are not talking about. One of the most important pieces to running a business is bringing in clients. Without any clients, you have no business. And I wanna teach you a strategy that I'm implementing into my business that I've been implementing into my businesses for years, and that's using digital marketing and specifically funnels to generate more revenue, to attract clients, to build your database, and to get more money and clients coming through your door and hopefully the right kind of clients. So that's what I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today. I'm gonna to go pretty deep, so you better grab your pen and paper if you wanna learn, if you wanna implement this strategy into your business and really level up to the next place and the next income bracket, this is the video to watch. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The strategy that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is a funnel. What is a funnel? Well, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of a funnel or a sales funnel. It's a buzzworthy word these days, it's trending. You can just go look up clickfunnels.com to know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's a process and a system of taking a client through a journey from them not knowing you to being a raving fan. And what a lot of the visual graphics of this look like is an actual funnel like you would use in your car. You're using this in your business to attract the top of mind awareness and get them to know you, like you, and trust you, and then to nurture them through the process and to buying from you on multiple different places to increase the lifetime value. But in the beginning, you need to be a giver. If somebody doesn't know you, you need to go out and do things like I'm doing and to add value to the marketplace. So the first step for you is find something that you are the expert on. If you're not the expert on something yet, then you need to get your skills up. You need to grow your talent, grow your soft skills and your hard skills to the point where you can start creating these things. I create content like this because this is knowledge and information and mentorship and courses that I've learned and I've taken over the years from sales and marketing and business leadership. And I've taken a lot of that and I'm turning them into lead magnets. And so to kind of bring this down even closer for you is understanding that usually at the top of the funnel, the very top is what they call the lead magnet. And that lead magnet could be anything from a video, it could be a training, it could be a webinar, it could be an ebook, it could be a traditional book, but there are lots and lots of lead magnets that marketers are using these days to attract people to them. Your lead magnets can be free or low ticket. I've even seen lead magnets that have been high ticket, but most often people are wanting to build that reputation with a new audience that doesn't know them. You wanna ask for a very small commitment up front. And so typically these funnels will have a $7 opt-in or a free opt-in to an ebook or a logo guide. A good example of that is we do a lot of online marketing, especially local marketing as an agency. And inside of our agency, we do what we call Google My Business Ranking. And with Google My Business Ranking, we help actually go through our clients, Google My Businesses, optimize them, and start generating more traffic to the Google My Business because there's a lot of traffic going to there. So we created a guide on how to do it yourself. A lot of people are gonna read that guide and see how much work it takes, and they're gonna go, oh man, I would just rather have these guys, the experts that know how to do it better than me and that have the time for this and the passion for this, go ahead and handle this themselves. There's gonna be a certain percentage that take it and use it for themselves. And there's gonna be a certain percentage of people that want just you to do it for them. So this is a way to build an email list. So you put this as a pop-up on your website or on your link tree or all the different places you can list your lead magnet and you put that up there and people have put their information in, an email, a phone number, maybe an email and a phone number and their name. You get this basic information and now they're in your funnel. This is where you wanna create sequences that follow up from that to nurture that relationship. So let's just use that example again. They opted in and they're looking for the Google My Business service. Well, as part of that service, they need to geotag images. So we can offer a special and put an automation in place where we say, hey, here's how to geotag your images. You can either do it yourself with this tool or again, adding value, or we can do it for you for this price a month. And if you're smart, you'll make what we call an irresistible offer to get them to that first purchase. So maybe your free guide for the Google My Business is free. The next step in the funnel as you're starting to come down to the real big sale that you want or the higher ticket sale or to the total lifetime value that you're trying to get, maybe you make that $10, $20, $50 for the geotagging. One of the next steps is gonna be getting citations for your Google My Business, right? So that's gonna be a cost that they're gonna to have to pay. They can try to figure out where to get citations themselves 
or you can provide it to them. That's another offer that you can put in the funnel. They can do it themselves or you can do it for them. So these lead magnets and these funnels are gonna bring them through a journey. Now, once they've optimized their Google My Business, got their geotagged images, they've got their citations, they're probably gonna need to get reviews. So they're gonna need a great review system. This is an opportunity to introduce what a good review system looks like. See how I'm taking you through a journey and everything is, is vertically integrated as we wanna call it. So you wanna take them through this journey, take them through this funnel to eventually they just go, man, this is so much work. I just wanna have you guys manage this. Next thing you know, you sell a $1,000 a month Google SEO, local SEO plan for a thousand bucks a month. It costs you three, four, 500 bucks a month. You got a nice margin in that. And you start to get this reoccurring income coming in as a creative, as a designer, web designer, motion designer, right? That reoccurring revenue is super valuable for you because it's now consistent, reliable income and you can scale and delegate these different things. So creating that magnet is what draws them in and then you take them through that cycle and through that journey to where now that client, that client was initially worth $0 to me, but since I sold all these other things in the journey and then eventually I got that $1,000, now that client is worth $12,000. Now I want you to understand this, this is really important. The more time that you invest into your lead magnet, the more heart, the more energy, the more knowledge, the more wisdom, the more valuable you make that lead magnet, the greater the returns. So I did the Google My Business lead magnet on my website and I had a really great return. We got a bunch of subscribers, a bunch of people on our email list, but recently, and I wanna pull out my phone here real quick just to walk you through this, I launched another funnel under Instagraphics, which is our community and the software and everything that we're building for the creative industry. And I launched a funnel and let me just kind of read you through some of the steps that it took to build this funnel. We had to build a landing page, multiple landing pages within the landing page. So there was the initial landing page where they put their information in, it gives them a little bit of a background. Then there's the actual training page that we put together for our Instagraphics prospecting training. Then from there, it takes them to the purchase page and also introduces them to the pro group to make sure that they get the opportunity to do the group that we're, we have. And then from there, it gives them a confirmation and shows them the next steps, right? There's a whole sequence of multiple pages we had to build out. I couldn't do that on my own. And if I did, it would take me a long time to build. Because I have an amazing team behind me, I was able to create that thing pretty quickly in under a week. And this is something that we provide as a service to our clients. I also did the, the Google presentation deck, the Google Slides deck. That took me seven hours to produce from zero, from nothing. I had no idea what I was gonna talk about to a finished, completed project. That was seven hours alone just for the Google Slides deck. Then I had to create all the ads, the video ads, the confirmation page ad, all the different things we had to create. I had to create a bunch of videos for the specific ads that we're gonna be running on YouTube and Facebook and all the other places. So that was a whole nother load of time. Then from there, I had my offer. I had to come up with what, what was the offer that I'm putting out there. $1,800 offer per year to join our community, to be part of our network, to get group coaching, to get the swag, to get all the things. We had to create an irresistible offer, which obviously that is insanely irresistible for 1,800 bucks a year. You get to come into our community, group coach with me every single week. I mean, I'm just, I put a lot into that, a lot of time into that offer. And so you wanna have a well thought out offer. On top of that, I had to do all of the mock-ups for, the entire, for the entire product or digital product that I was offering. I was offering a prospecting training of how to help people actually learn how to prospect inside of their business effectively and turn the outbound prospecting into inbound prospecting. So that was something I had to do. Um, I had to come up with a story and the way that I told my story in that slides deck and as well as in my presentation in front of a camera. So I needed to have camera equipment, like all the costs that come into doing that. I also had to develop the intro video at the beginning of my training, as well as the music that I put in my training. I had to create copy, right? I had to write all the copy for that page that was on all those web pages, that was on the lead magnet. There was a lot of work that goes into creating that lead magnet, but I'm making an $1,800 offer, so I better offer a lot of value inside of this training, tens of thousands of dollars worth of value, especially if I want them to commit to the next step, which is joining our community. And so this lead magnet, I probably put three months of work into this thing between producing an event, getting high level speakers, me crafting my pitch, really dialing everything in. There was a lot of investment that went into that, but the return that's gonna come back from that is gonna be way bigger than just the Google guide, right? This is something that's way more thought out, way more planned out, and the more time you invest, the greater the returns are. So this is something I want you to consider when it comes to building a magnet, is the more time you're willing to put in, the more knowledge you have around that, the better the outcome is going to be. The last piece to your magnet is you need to know what the goal outcome is. A lot of people don't start with the end in mind 
And this is something that you need to be thinking about before you build the magnet. If you're gonna do a GMB, Google My Business magnet, or a prospecting magnet, or some any kind of lead magnet, whether it's super simple and easy, a little four page ebook, or a guide to branding, or a guide to logo design, or how to create a great sports logo, or some sort of article, or whatever piece of educational content you're coming up with, you need to understand what the end goal is. What is the objective? This is where a lot of people fail inside of their lead magnets is they don't have a solid objective. They put out a great piece of content, but it doesn't have any call to action, no offer, and no next steps. Every lead magnet needs to have a next steps and what is the next step along the journey for them. If you don't lead them, they'll wander off, they'll take your lead magnet, take your information, and you'll never hear from them again, and it'll be wasted effort. So you wanna make sure you put in a strong call to action and you put in a strong objective of what it is you're trying to accomplish from the magnet. So I wanna do with my group is I need to get 5,000 members. This one lead magnet is gonna be responsible for bringing in probably 1,000, maybe more, who knows. I'm just now launching it, but you're gonna have to drive traffic to that. So you can use the existing traffic you have from your website. You can do things and put them on other websites like blogs and you can publish things. So there's lots of ways to drive traffic and that's another video for another day. But once you've got that magnet created, you need to drive traffic to it. And that is the last piece. You can do it organically. You can do it through paid methods. You can do it through Facebook groups. There's lots of ways to drive that traffic, but it's really important that you utilize this tool and this strategy to grow your business because you have expertise and knowledge in your head that can help other people. And by educating the market, by giving, instead of just expecting to receive, you do what I call pulling the rope instead of pushing the rope. By educating people, you're bringing people to you. That's why we call it a magnet. And once you get them into your funnel, it's all about nurturing that relationship. So hopefully this was super impactful for you. If it was, do me a huge favor, drop a like down below and also hit the subscribe button so you can get more great content like this. And please, Introduce yourself as many have commented in other videos. I respond to every single comment. I like every comment and it's just a big part of why I'm building this community is I really want you to know that I'm here to serve you at my highest level possible. And if you have any criticism or feedback, I'm not afraid of that either. So go ahead and drop that down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the Instagraphics Pro Network. It's a free group on Facebook and you just got to fill out all the questions. And if you do, we'll let you in. Welcome into our family. I look forward to seeing you there. I'm Adrian Boystel. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep looking up.